my students, so welcome to our third week of the first quarter. So now, let's study the varieties of egg dishes. We have here the varieties of egg dishes such as boiled eggs, fried eggs, poached eggs, crumbled eggs, omelette, and baked eggs. When we say boiled eggs are cooked in the shell to make hard and soft cooked and cold the eggs. It can be cold egg, soft boiled egg, medium cooked egg, and hard boiled egg. When we say cuddled egg, the cold egg will be put in a simmering water for about 30 seconds only. If you want to achieve soft cooked eggs, put the cold egg into simmering water and then simmer it for only 3 to 4 minutes. While if you want medium cooked eggs, you need to put the cold egg into a simmering water for at least 5 to 7 minutes. And if you want a hard boiled egg, put the eggs into simmering water for 8 to 10 minutes. So let's move now to the second variety which is the fried eggs. It calls for a perfectly fresh eggs, correct heat level and the appropriate amount of cooking fat and depth has. So it includes a different kinds of fried eggs which are sunny side up, basted, easy over fry and flip over, over medium fry and flip over, and over hard fry and flip over. We will discuss it deeply each and every one of them. So the first one is the sunny side up. It cooks slowly without flipping it over until white is completely set but the yolk is still soft and yellow. Next one is the basted do not flip. So you need to drop a little bit of water and then cover it so that the steam will cook the top. A thin film of coagulated white will cover the yolk but the yolk will still in a liquid form. Next is the over easy fry and flip over. So in here, you will just cook the white of the egg until it is set but the yolk is still in liquid form. It will be followed by over medium fry and flip over. You will cook it until the yolk is partially set. Only partially set. The last one in frying is the over hard fry and flip over. You will cook the yolk until it is completely set. Poached eggs are prepared by slipping shell of the eggs into barely simmering water and gently cook until the egg holds its shape. The next one is a scrambled eggs. It can be done in two ways. The first one is the egg can be steered constantly over low heat for a soft delicate curd and a creamy texture. The next one is steered less frequently as they cook for a larger curd and a fair texture. This will be followed by omelettes. Start like scrambled egg, but when the egg started to set, they are rolled over. Other ingredients can be added, just like the cheese, milk, tomato, onions, and meats. The last one is the baked eggs. These are done using an oven. Here are the things to remember when cooking eggs. Throw eggs away from cooked or ready to serve foods to prevent cross contamination. And don't lick spoons and eat raw dough or butter made with raw eggs. Cook eggs until both whites and yolks are firm. Bake quiches, casseroles, and other egg dishes to an internal temperature of 160 Fahrenheit. If your recipes call for a raw or undercooked egg as part of the final product, be sure to choose eggs that have been treated to kill salmonella or use pasteurized egg products. Once the eggs are cooked, 
make sure that you put it in these temperatures above 140 degrees Fahrenheit or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If the meal is finished, refrigerate it right away. Our last discussion is all about eggs and food safety. Some raw eggs carry bacteria that can cause a nasty digestive tract infection called salmonellasis. Some raw eggs carry bacteria that can cause a nasty digestive tract infection called salmonellasis. Some of the symptoms include fever, diarrhea, abdominal crops, and can appear anywhere from 12 hours to 3 days after eating contaminated eggs. Safety Handling Instructions To prevent the illnesses, you must keep the food refrigerated. Next is cook the food until the yolk are firm and cook food containing eggs thoroughly. To prevent foodborne illnesses from eggs, it begins from the grocery store and continues to your own kitchen, so before, during, and after meals. So that's it! That is our module 3. And that is from the module written by Adora Baracas of SDO of Kalaok. Thank you everyone for listening and I hope that you learned something today. God bless you all!